We already had a look at the Enderfy Stratus in 120. It's a weaker version of an Arctic P12. It was okay for a case fan, especially the noise, but don't expect it to do much more. But Enderfy also got a premium fan, this time with rubber on the corners. Ooh, fancy. As it's the Enderfy, the product page is still quite similar. Not really any relevant information, except for the fluid dynamic bearing and up to 1800 RPM and a whole lot of PR vomit. With an extension cord, priceless. The Fluxus 120 PVM is a cooler you can install in minutes. It's a fan, not a cooler. And get this, when the computer is running at full speed, the fan has to keep up. This might cause your chassis to vibrate slightly. If your case vibrates with the fan, you got the wrong case. Which some people compare to a washing machine on spin cycle. And they are right, because just like with a spinning washing machine, it can be a real pain if you want to work or rest. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what does half of this even mean? Listen, if your PC is moving like a washing machine, get a new PC. I would have understood if Gelit said such a thing about their 6000 RPM fan, but not these. And I'm not going to spend another five minutes on the crap that copyright I came up with. If you want a good laugh, feel free to follow the link down below. And with that, let's get to the Fluctus 120. There are two versions of this fan. The all black we got here and one with RG fairy dust all over the place. As said before, this is the premium version of what Endofy puts out. And it already starts at the box. Instead of a brown recycling box, we got something that is actually painted with some more PR crap. Inside we'll get the Fluctus 120 fan with a quite short 20cm long PVM cable which got another PVM splitter attached to it with a 10cm of additional wiring. And included in the box is also a 40cm long PVM extension so you shouldn't face any issues with cabling. Also included in the box is this yellow envelope containing a thank you message signed by the CEO of the company. And for once this wasn't stuffed with PR bullshit, except for the request that you do some of their social media PR for free. Calling this a premium version of the Stratus actually does make a lot of sense. A Fluctus comes with a similarly shaped 9-wing design with a relatively big central fan hub featuring a FDB bearing, exactly like the Stratus. But the Fluctus got rubberized corners on every side for additional vibration absorption, including some nice looking design stuff and all of these cuts on the end of every blade. Now, unlike somebody like Noxia, you will not find a 20-page scientifically written paper describing the exact reasoning and their own findings behind these cuts. No, we got half a sentence. In parentheses. But to expand a bit on, on that half a sentence, the patent pending Enderfy is talking about is the effect of optimizing a given sound pattern to make it less distracting. You can do that by making a specific frequency, which is very enjoyable to hear, much louder. And in return, another part of the frequency range will become inaudible. And hopefully, the part of the spectrum which is annoying stays in that range. That's like one way of putting it. You can do a lot of stuff. Now, Enderfy isn't the only one doing that. Take for example Noxia. They optimize everything. but. The point is doing this does work. Me having done all of the benchmarks on those, I am happy to have a dB meter around because the difference between these two is ridiculously small. Like for a 400 RPM quicker fan, it doesn't sound like that. And with that said, let's get to the benchmarks. We first tested the Fluctus using the case fan simulator, which measures the CPU temperature underneath a passive Noxia P1 in a wooden box where two fans are just recycling the air within it. Spinning at max speed, the Fluctus 120 PVM kept the CPU at 43.9 degrees C above ambient, which is actually a quite good result. It's right next to the NFA12 and quite a bit in front of the Arctic P12, so Enderfy definitely pulled off on this one, especially compared to the slower spinning and less optimized Stratus. Then we slowly lowered the fan speed whilst measuring the noise and temperature at every step. Here we can see that the Fluctus is actually an excellent performer in the lower RPM numbers. Making it spin below 80% of its max speed, it managed to hit the noise slow so quick that neither the Noxia 
NF-A12X25 nor Arctic P12 managed to keep up here. And going up from there, we saw a quite quick rise to the top, where at 100% fan speed, the Fluctus landed slightly behind the Scythe Grand Tornado. However, at this point, I want to reiterate the whole psychoacoustic optimization stuff. This kind of stuff becomes very blurry once you use a dB meter, because they are in people. And they give you a measured number in dBA and not how much annoying they are. And I tried a thing where I made a P12 and a Fluctus spin at max speed, so 1800, 1900, and I held them around my head. And ignoring that I definitely looked like I needed to be saved, I perceived both fans being identically loud, but the P12 was slightly higher pitched, where the lower type of noise that was present on the Fluctus was, for myself, more enjoyable. So the frequency range was shifted. Over on the radiator benchmark, we measure how cool a fan can keep the water off the loop using a 80mm thick 10 FPI radiator. The Fluctus didn't do so good anymore. Still respectable, but not as good. At 12.5 degrees C above ambient for the water, it is a bit behind other contestants like the NFA12 or Fantex M25. It stands much better than what the Stratus was capable of doing, but still. However, unlike the Stratus, the fan being as quiet as it is made it usable to some degree. It's still far behind an Arctic P12 Max, even at like strongly reduced fan speeds, or like an NFA12, but at least it's not a Scythe Grand Tornado. But this graph still kind of leads to the same conclusion. Like the Scythe Grand Tornado or the Enderface Stratus, the Fluctus is definitely best used in or as a case fan. It's brutally efficient for the amount of noise that it does create. And for 12 bucks, it's still okay. Sure, it's double of the Stratus or a Arctic P12, but you either double performance or you get slightly less noise. So as for me, for a case fan, it's an excellent choice. It's not the best. There is a lot of like burst performing missing on the higher end. But if your goal is to create a very silently operating PC and you don't need that burst performance at like 2,500 RPM because your case wasn't designed like a brick wall, I don't see any issue with, with these. And I absolutely do recommend them for that usage. Just not on rats. It's still not a good radiator fan. But okay, for today, this is going to be it for Endorphi and their Fluctus 120PVM fan. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to pay the guy who's in charge of Noxious product pages for a day or two to get rid of all of the PR vomit they have here. It seems like they have the right goal, but they just need, need to stop selling it so much. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.